Hello my loves, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I want to talk about the items that I'm manifesting to buy this year, to purchase. Usually if I like something a lot and it is like on the pricier side, I do give myself like some time just to really think about it and make sure that I 110% will wear the item. I'm just putting these items out there. If they're meant to be, I will buy them this year. Even if they're like secondhand, I think like if I got some of these things secondhand, I would be extremely happy. Um, I've also been gone for two weeks. Long story short, I got my tonsils taken out. So random. Feeling okay now, I guess, but like I literally couldn't speak. And what else? I dyed my hair all natural. Just going on a hair journey this year. It was not getting any love. Bleach really destroys your hair if it's like, if your hair's like this color. You guys, we hit 100 subscribers. That's just so fun. I don't know, I'm just really excited. Like I love filming these videos because it's just so fun. Love you guys. Anyways, let's move on to the vid. I have my list here. So a lot of these items are shoes because this year I do want to um, up my shoe game. Shoes are really the last thing I think about when I look at my outfit and I just want to change that. I really want to invest in some classic styles. We'll start with these Mary Jane shoes. Such a classic European French girl look. So specifically, I'm looking at the ones from Corel. Um, you guys, they are like $600 and I don't even know. I don't even know if that's worth it. Their style of Mary Janes with like the, the three little buckle straps and you can like sort of crisscross them. I just think it's so, so classic. I seriously went down this rabbit hole of Alexa Chung Parisian style and the way that they dress and they have items that they just keep in their closet forever. I do want to ultimately have a wardrobe where I can look at it, find my favorite, favorite pieces, chuck them together in any mismatched combination and it just looks so stylish. I've finished watching the White Lotus. I'm actually obsessed with the characters in it and in season two, there are these two girls love them so much. I just was looking at their Instagram and they wear these shoes um, quite a lot and they're now influencing me to buy them. Yeah, Corel shoes, definitely something I want to manifest buying this year. And next, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Adidas Sambas. The white or the black ones are the ones that I really want. I honestly think if I did buy them, I would wear them with everything. I don't know, I think some people think they're out of style now, but I genuinely love them and I think if, even if trends like come and go if one really resonates with you you should just you should still wear it obviously they're not very expensive if you buy them like when they drop on the website they just honestly sell out so so fast like i've tried it two times before and i have been disappointed both times like if it's meant to be it'll come into your life one way or another um and that just goes the same with clothes for me like i manifested so much things that i've than I now have in my wardrobe. So putting it out there into the universe. Next, another style of shoe, Rapetto Ballet Flats. I'm like really torn because, because I've never sort of reached towards a ballet flat, but I absolutely love how they look on other people. And I literally bought these little ballet flats. They're from Ruby, but I got them on the Iconic. And I could you not, they were $12. So this is like my trial run. So if I wear those, a lot and if I reach for them it's a good sign that I will lean towards like the Mary Janes and the ballet flats. I would really love a nice red pair, a red pair of ballet flats. Stepping into this French girl era I'm just trying to explore different styles which stick. Anyways moving on I want to get more sweaters, more cashmere sweaters, really soft looking sweaters. It can look really really classy and quite high-end if you are with some really nice fitting jeans that are like maybe wide leg, a Doc Martin loafer, or honestly, anything that I've listed. A ballet flat, an Adidas Samba. Wow, I've got vision wearing these. Anyways, um, yeah, I know Uniqlo sell them. I'm in a bad habit of scrolling on the Inku website, and Inku is just full of like expensive brands, so I just can't be doing that to myself. Next, I've been eyeing these boots for I think about three years. Like I'm not even joking. 
Um, they're from Alohas and they're these burgundy knee-high boots with a chunky heel. They're just so gorgeous. Insert photo. And I feel like if you are going for a a boot or like a higher boot, having it look like as simple and as plain as possible. So no like like minimal buckles and zippers and like slouching like if it's just a clean look it just looks really stylish and timeless these are really expensive as well <laughs> just like expensive things if i can find them second hand i will buy them next there is this brand that i've been seeing on instagram for years they sell these really pretty handmade glass charms and they add them to like earrings, necklaces and things like that. And I think it's really clever the, the way that they are made. Although I do stick to basics and I do like timeless pieces, I think it's fun to just sort of like step out of that sometimes and have fun with like jewelry pieces, accessories. I think that's a really fun way to dress up an outfit and have like a little hint of something quite trendy and fun. These ones that they sell, these little like starfish studs I think, they remind me of the ones from Aquamarine where like she sticks the starfish on her ear and they like whisper her like compliments like are so cute like the fruit little charms and just their gold pieces everything looks really well made so yes I love that next is a bag when it comes to bags I personally don't like it if it's if it like screams out a brand to you like if it's got the logo like everywhere it really just depends because i really like the fendi baguette like it's really classic style but that has like fendi all over it um but for example my ideal bag is the gucci jackie bag and i love how it's just so simple and like seriously you can wear that with anything and it would just look great so that is extremely expensive as well but we're we're manifesting i'm not saying that I will buy it. If I see something similar that's like half the price and not Gucci, I will definitely wear that as well. Okay, next you're gonna be sick of me talking about shoes, but I'm really on the hunt for a um, kitten heel that's got a pointed toe and a sling back um, sort of strap. I've seen girls wearing like the diesel denim ones. I'm not like a huge fan of them. Like, yeah, I think it's it's a really nice look when you've got like um, big baggy jeans on and like that little pointed toe just peeking through or even just wearing it with like a little mini skirt and a top, little sling back shoe, such a staple. I'm also obsessed with the brand Sandy Liang. Her designs are just so stunning. I love like the girly and like ballet-esque vibes, like pastels pearls all the things are just really cute and it gives a sort of like hyper feminine vibe which i really want to step into this year because i feel like my style is more girly yeah if i got like a sandy liang piece even if it's like their little keychain accessory like i love that um okay yes moving on so this is the last one on my list but i feel like i definitely have other things i could potentially speak about but um this is another shoe <laughs> it's definitely something in my instagram algorithm but i see ads for the rock cowboy boots i think they're called the indigo style i see them every day and i would love just a pair of cowboy boots like a black pair or a brown pair that would be really cool like i think that's a really fun look if you're wearing like a super plain outfit with just like jeans and then you have a cowboy boot on like hello that's so cute. I've also seen the Herbert twins. I don't know which one it was, but seen them wear the rock boots. So for like little booty shorts and a little singlet. Like seriously iconic. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you made it this far, this one was a bit of like me rambling, but I hope to keep making these videos and let me know if you have any video ideas you want to see next. And yeah, like and subscribe. Peace out.